Bremo 80 is an extremely versatile modular secondary steel system. Whilst there are many variations of Sickler components, the Framo 80 system remains extremely compact and user-friendly. Three-dimensional framing can easily be achieved with the use of just a few components. Let's have a look at some of the common components and connections. The self-forming screw is used for all connections on Framo 80. The screw is equipped with a 17mm hex head externally and torque 50 internally for areas with limited access. WBD base plates and TKO beam brackets both have the ability to be bolted to masonry or clamped to the flange of existing steelwork with the use of an assembly set. Clamping to the flange of existing steelwork means that all hot works can be avoided. Hot works could break the protective coating on the existing steel and can even affect the structural integrity. Watch how quickly and easily this connection can be achieved. The bolts of the assembly sets require tightening to a specific torque. Set P2 requires 85 Newton meters of torque and set P3 requires 150 Newton meters of torque. Sickler Systems Australia recommends putting in a test screw first and checking that the torque achieved has not exceeded 60 Newton meters. A maximum 10 mm gap should be achieved from the end of the Framo 80 section to the top of the base plate. Sickler Systems Australia recommends using an 8 mm gap as this gives a small margin for misalignment. And one can use any of the staff connections to achieve this. Insert the screw at a maximum spacing achievable. The insertion of the screws is effortless with the use of a rattle gun. The screw must be driven in all the way and rattled until the connection is tight. Repeat the process on the opposite side. A maximum of 60 Newton meters torque is to be applied to the screw. Pivot joints are connected in the same way, except the gap from the Framo 80 section to the end of the pivot joint should be 13 millimeters.